it was just uncomfortable as fuck in that harness. And they would put me up and it was dusty out there. And for a moment, you know, I said, this isn't right. This just was not right at all. The year is 1984. You starred as Wiley in the two-time Oscar-winning film Places in the Heart, starring Sally Field, Ed Harris, Harris, one of my all-time favorites, John Malkovich, and Danny Glover. Now, your character is lynched for accidentally shooting a white sheriff. What was it like to act out something that could easily have been pulled off from a real headline in today's time that we live in? Um, what was it like even at your age to go through something like that and have to portray it? Because me and him, just a little background, we shot a series uh, called Selma that's going to be coming out. And for me and him, when we went to Selma and we sat in these lynching holes and we saw these things, we were adults. And I know how it made me and him feel. So you being on that set during that time, how did that, how's that, how do you, how does that make you feel? It was Robert Benton, the director. He had won an Oscar for Kramer versus Kramer. Uh, acknowledged for Silkwood, Meryl Street. Huge director. They flew me, red here, red here, call back, call back, call back, three. They flew me to New York to see me one more time. So to me, it was just like an odd, like I said, they're big. Now I'm, I'm 18. I was 18 when I did that. Flew to New York, put me up at a nice hotel, and I read for them again, and I flew back home. Before I got back home, I was booked. So to answer your question, I was still, I didn't learn how to act until I got to Die Hard. Seriously, take it seriously. I was still in that, I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to read. And by the way, real quickly, you guys, with the script and the sides and stuff, I really, <laughs> I just read it and just gave it energy, not doing like research like you do now on the elements of acting, you know, and using the different types of navigations it takes to build a character. Mm -hmm. I would just read it. You know, that I was just lucky. I would just read it. So with that film, I went in and I kind of pictured it in my, I'm, they say I'm a natural. And I read it and um, Arlene Donovan and Robert Benton, they called before I got home and did it. However, to answer your question, <laughs> it was just uncomfortable as fuck in that harness. And they would put me up and it was dusty out there. And for a moment, you know, I said, this isn't right. This just was not right at all. You know, like I said, I didn't grow up with a lot of prejudice stuff. You know, I wasn't called stuff in, in negative, negative things, derogatory names in school. I, I, I just wasn't. You know, it didn't, it just didn't happen. So did it affect me at that time? Perhaps it did because I don't have the experience and the wisdom that I do now to have a better understanding, you know, of, yeah. of that time period. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It seems like you're like almost like the film was exposure for you to a side of history that you weren't like painfully, it uh, wasn't painfully apparent to you growing up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I knew it was wrong. I just knew it was wrong. Yeah. I knew it wasn't right. So, you know. 